This video is about how to apply a territory overlay to your map. So here on the map I have plotted sales data from some of the stores that I own in the state of Tennessee. But, but let's say that I want to identify the counties that these stores are located in, and then to also see a report about those counties. To do that, it's very, very simple. I come over here to this Layers button and I select Add Territories. Once here, a box will appear in the middle with a territory type on top. And everything is alphabetical, so I'll just scroll down until I find U.S. Counties, Tennessee. Once I find it, I just click on that. And then I'm going to keep everything else the same. And I'm going to hit continue. And now you can see that Mapline has added each individual county within the state of Tennessee and assigned it a random color. And you'll notice that when I hover my mouse over specific counties, it will show me the name of that county. Now if I want to do a territory report, it's very simple. All I do is I hover my mouse over a county and I click. Then a box will appear that will show me the, shape, the name of the county, the number of sides, the area, and also the center point of that county. And then it will also show me a summary of all the data that falls within that county. So I can see that my sales data has six different locations within there. And the midpoint of all my pins is this location right here, and then the point of minimum distance to travel is this point right here. And if I want to, I can click on either of these download buttons and it will download all the information that's here. Or I can come up here to this location report and click on that, and now I can see a list of all the different pins that fall within that specific county and all the data that is correlated to them. And I can still download all that information back into an Excel spreadsheet. And that's how easy it is to use Mapline's territory overlays.